Hey guys, one of the best budget and pocket friendly microphone for content creators and YouTubers is the Boya M1 Lavalier microphone. This microphone is not just budget friendly, it's also powerful, it produces great and quality audio and um, it's also versatile in the sense that you can use it on your smartphone, your laptop, your DSLR camera and basically anything that can take a 3.5mm headphone jack. At just $20, you are getting a very capable microphone that can level up your audio game as a content creator. What's up guys, it's Victor here again and in this video, I shall be unboxing and doing a quick review of the Boya M1 Lavalier microphone which I got off Amazon for just $20. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video as I will be sharing tips on how to get the best sound out of this guy and also how to solve some common issues content creators face with their microphone one of which is how to get their phone native camera to get sound from an external source so many youtubers complain that they can't get their native camera app to work with an external microphone in this video i'll be showing you how to go around that issue as well as how to solve another common problem that filming pro users face with this microphone. I will leave timestamps to various sections of this video in the description space below so you can jump quickly to your section of interest. And before we continue and just to give you an idea of what the Boya M1 Lavalier mic sounds like, the audio you are hearing right now, like right now, is coming from a Boya M1 Lavalier mic. I already have this microphone, I got this for a friend of mine, a fellow YouTuber. Shout out to Ricky Lodianya. And um, she's a very talented mother, guys. You love her contents. Uh, I'll leave the link to her channel in the description space below. So check her out. I'll be using this mic to share my experiences and how I've overcome some problems I faced with this mic and how this mic has helped me to level up my audio game as a YouTuber or a content creator. And before we get into this video, if you have not, or maybe you are new here and you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button and toggle on the post notification bell icon so that you'll be notified the next time and every other time I post new videos like this one. In the box is a small pouch and product literature. Then inside the pouch is the microphone, a silicone gel for preservation and a small plastic bag containing the lapel clip, a quarter inch adapter, an LR44 battery and a small pop filter. So guys, here is the microphone, it has two modes. If I'm using it on the camera, then this switch has to be on the camera mode with the battery installed. But if I'm using it on the smartphone, then it has to be turned to off and this mode doesn't need a battery. And if you want to use it on a sound card or on a big sound mixer, then you have to install the provided adapter. You can install the pop filter if you want or better still use the mic as it is. I have not noticed the sound difference though when the pop filter is installed or when it is not. I just install it anyway because the microphone looks better with the filter. The clip goes just right under the microphone and it is so easy to install. Something I like so much is the case they included. It is so beautiful, strong and very useful for storing and transporting the microphone safely. The cable is reasonably thin and is super long at 6 meters, allowing for a decent movement while you talk in front of the camera. It might be a hassle for some because of the long cable, but at least it has a velcro strap built into it for cable management. Not to mention the capsule with the controls also have a clip on it. Guys, this mic is very very good and so far I've only been able to force out two cons of this guy, which is that there is no battery level indication on the pill on the body to show when the battery level is down or when the battery is dying. And the second con is that the mic easily gets clipped or distorted when you talk loud. But stick around to the end of this video and I'll be showing you how to avoid distortions and clipping as much as possible. And to show you how good this mic is, I'll be doing a quick audio test right now, coming up next. So guys, this is how my device, the Infinix Note 7 Lite, sounds without an external microphone, without the Boya M1 Lavalier microphone. I'm holding the microphone on my hand and I'm like two feet or one foot away from it and um, there's an AC on right now so I'm going to be silent now so that you hear the ambient noise the mic is picking up and this is what the phone sounds like with the Boya M1 Lavalier mic the AC is still on and I'm still holding the phone on my hand and um, I'm going to be silent right now so that you hear the ambient noise the Boya M1 Lavalier mic is picking up. This is the sound coming out from my Samsung Galaxy S10e. I am currently outdoors and it is 11.21 am in the morning. 
I have some vehicles running at high speed and there is a generator there and there are people talking downstairs so basically this is a very noisy environment so this is the sound coming out from the Samsung the internal microphone of the Samsung Galaxy S10 and this is how the Samsung S10e sounds with the Boya mic plugged onto it I am still at the same position with the same environmental condition and noise condition and there are still people talking downstairs generators are on this place is very noisy I'm going to be silent now so you see how the phone handles the ambient noise or how it picks up ambient noise. This is the audio coming out from my Canon 80D, straight out of my Canon 80D without any external microphone, without the Boya M1 Lavella microphone. So I'm going to be quiet now so you hear the ambient noise the microphone is picking up. And this is how my Canon 80D sounds with the Boya M1 Lavella microphone. I'm like four feet away from the camera and I have my AC on. So right now I'm going to be silent so you hear the ambient noise the microphone is speaking. So guys, as you've heard for yourself, this mic is like the best thing that can happen to you as a content creator or as a YouTuber or as a vlogger or as a teacher or as a presenter. At just $20, you are getting a microphone that can change your whole audio game as a content creator. I would really advise you to get this if you are really starting up YouTube or you're just starting your own budget and you don't have the resources to get the high-end microphone. This will do the job for you. This is just perfect. Great audio, great long, very long cable. You can literally go to the market with this while on, on your camera. I'm joking. But seriously, this mic is good. You cannot go wrong with this mic, trust me. I totally recommend this mic for anyone who is starting up YouTube and is on a budget. Now about the issue of your phone camera not getting sound input from the Boya M1 Lavalier microphone or any other external microphone, here's a quick fix. Download the Pro Video Camera app. By Pro Video Camera, I mean a camera app that will allow you to set and lock video parameters such as the focus point, exposure and white balance. My top pick would be Filmic Pro, which is around $15 in the Play Store or App Store. But if you're on a budget and you're just starting out, you can download Open Camera, which is a free app. My only issue with Open Camera is the UI. I find it very, very boring. But apart from that, it's a very, very capable app. It's as powerful as Filmic Pro if you know how to use it. After downloading and installing the Open Camera app, open Open Camera app. Then at the top right hand of the screen, you'll find this gear icon. Click it, then scroll down to video settings, then scroll down until you find audio source. Make sure the audio source is at external mic if present, not at default audio source. It should be at external mic if present. It's that easy. Another issue that most people including me faced with the Boya M1 Lavalier microphone is with Filmic Pro. After buying Filmic Pro for around $15, I wasn't able to use it because of some technical or compatibility issues with Boya M1 Lavalier microphone. As at that time, I was using the Boya M1 Lavalier mic with my native camera app and with open camera and everything was working fine. Then I decided to take things to the next step. I decided to make things a lot more professional and I paid for Filmic Pro. And then Filmic Pro wasn't working with Boya M1 Lavalier microphone. After recording a video with the Boya M1 Lavalier microphone, Filmic Pro and my device which is Galaxy S10, on playing back the video, the audio always sounds like this. This was a challenge for me as, as I wasn't able to use Filmic Pro with the Boya M1 Lavalier microphone. So I went back to my native camera. Then I reached out to them on the Play Store and they referred me to send an email to them, which I did. After sending the email, they replied me with this. They claim the problem is not peculiar to me and that the issue is generally related to the build quality of the cable and connectors on the Boya microphones. Then I gave up until one day inspiration struck me and I decided to try something, which eventually worked for me. And so here is the fix. After installing the Boya M1 Lavalier mic and opening Filmic Pro, and after setting the Boya M1 Lavalier mic as the, the audio source, make sure the volume of the device is set to zero by pressing and holding the down volume button. If you do this, you won't get any distortion whatsoever or hissing during playback. And down to the last part of this video. To get the best out of your Boya M1 Lavalier microphone, here are the tips that should help you. Always make sure that the volume of the mic is set to low or medium. This is to avoid clipping or distortion whenever you get too loud. It's easier to crank up the volume of your audio than trying to restore clipped audio. 
Tip number two is to make sure that the mic is not clipped too far away from your mouth so that it can capture more low frequency or bass from your voice. Make sure the mic is not moving or rubbing against your clothes as this can introduce plenty of unwanted noise in your recording. So make sure it's clipped fast on top of your shirt to avoid things like this. And if you are trying to keep the mic invisible under your shirt, you can use a solo tape to hold it together to your chest and your clothing to restrict movement in that area. Tip number four is not to overprocess your audio as you might start sounding very, very synthetic. So if you don't know how to edit audio properly, just go with what you are getting straight out of the Boya microphone. That on its own is very fantastic. Instead of messing up with the equalizers and end up sounding like an alien. So guys, there you have it. The Boya M1 microphone is a must have for any content creator that is just starting out on a low budget, on the low key, and you don't have the resources to get those high end equipment then this mic is for you. Don't forget to comment and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. It helps a lot to you. And also subscribe if you've not. And thank you guys for watching this one. And I'll see you when I see you in the next one.